Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cats. It's Mickey, and in this video lesson, we're going to be taking a look at how we can get our enemies to stop shooting us through the walls. This happens to me all the time when I'm working with the prototypes. I just throw out a collision circle, and I say that's good enough, but that allows the enemy to shoot me through the wall, and that's not really fair because I can't shoot them. So let's roll the introduction and let's get into it. Now in our demo project here, if I run the game, you can see that we have a character that follows the mouse as well as two enemies on the screen. They're each drawing a circle which is acting as their collision radius. So if my player enters this white circle, you can see that they're going to be shooting the bullets. Now what we talked about is our character is behind a wall and our enemy is still trying to shoot us. The same goes for the guy at the bottom. So that's what we actually want to fix and this fix is pretty easy. All we have to do is draw a line from our current enemy to wherever our player is and check to see if it's going to collide with our object solid. Now this will only work if we're using objects to detect our collision. So let's actually check out our room first to see how this is set up. In the room I have a collisions layer and you can see that we just have some objects in here. This object is completely empty with no events so I could throw anywhere within my room so I could even go up here and drag it down and it acts as a collision between my player and my enemies. So with that, let's open up our enemy and let's go to the step event because that's where all the code is. In this step event, you can see that we're testing a collision circle based on the radius detection. And the radius detection, I believe, is 400 pixels. We're just going to check for the object player. Now, any of our collision functions, as long as we're not using a list, it's going to return the ID of the instance that we're checking for, in this case, the player, or is it going to return minus four, which is no one. So logically breaking this one down, we're checking to see if the player is inside this collision circle. As long as the instance test does not equal no one, meaning we found the player, then we instantiate a bullet. Now what we can do is we know the location of the player and we know the location of the enemy because we're in the object. We could do a simple check to say if the collision line between our current X and Y position of our enemy and the current X and current Y position of our player is intersecting with the object underscore solid. No, we don't need precise and let's just exclude ourselves from the collision. If this equals no one, meaning that we did not collide with a wall, then we will instantiate a bullet. So if I hit F5 now and I run my game, when I go into the collision circle, you can see the enemy is still trying to shoot. However, if I hide behind a wall, there is no line between my player and the enemy that's not colliding with the wall, so they don't shoot at all. I can do the same with the one that we just added in, and I can also do the same with the one at the bottom here. So with just that little bit of code, we fix that problem, and our enemies will no longer shoot us through the wall, even though they can detect that we are in within range, they're not going to shoot us until there is a straight line between us and the enemy itself. Thank you for watching the video. A special shout out to those who are supporting me on Patreon in no particular order. Blunt BSC, Darth Wolf, Noah, Ian, Andrea, Robert, Edward, Bill, Victor, Ashby, and Paul. Thank you all so much for your continued support, and I hope you find the video useful. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.